What's going on, fellas? How the hell are you? This is Island, and welcome back to the island. All right, guys, first things first, upgrade rush is on. All right, for this coming weekend, we got two days, 15 hours left. All upgrades are four times faster. So if you're working on stuff, right now is the time to do it so you can get it done if you got the silver. As you can see in my silver, even though I have a nice chunk, all right, it is nowhere close to the 3.5 billion I had at one time. So I am right now more into silver conservation than I am about rushing up any upgrades. I may do an upgrade here or there. Let's go see what we got. Let's do one right now. We got the Devastator. Let's go ahead and upgrade him. Okay, but we're not going to be using any gold. We're not going to be using any videos because I don't need to be rushing anything. I, what I need to do is start packing up that silver once again. So I'll probably go through the stuff, see what I can sell as far as components and stuff like that that I'm not using. And just uh, capitalizing on my silver. I got a was there like the Tempest. Don't need it. We'll grab a little bit of silver. Okay, and that's what I'll be doing there to uh, maximize whatever silver I can because I need to start packing up because we don't know what's coming down the pipe. But that's not the purpose of this video. The purpose of this video is to respond to each and every one of y'all that asked me yesterday, yes, can you show me uh, how to go through the Raid Shadow Legends to get your gold, all right? And we're going to go ahead and, and label, label this little series coming up. It's going to be gold mining because that's what we're doing. We're mining for gold. And as you can see over here, I've already started my little project. We're going to go to ones in progress. I don't know how the one on top, the little uh, dragon mania started off. I didn't even tap that, but it's there. Uh, and I'm working on a few of the casinos. I'm trying to stay away from certain ones that tell me you have seven days to complete this task. I'm not going to be doing any of those, all right, unless uh, it's a big chunk of gold and I'm really going to grind it out the way I did in the Raid Shadow Legends, okay? As you can see, the one at the bottom, we, we finally completed that. And that's what we're going to be talking about today. I'm going to give you a few little tips and tricks uh, on mistakes that I made, horrible mistakes that I made in, in, in Raid Shadow Legends, which caused me to drag it out, all right? Besides the fact that I wasn't playing it every single day, I wasn't grinding it at all. I started grinding it more towards the end. Uh, it was a very frustrating time, I guess I could say, a frustrating part of the game where I, uh, so many times throughout the game, I said, you know what, I'm not going to make it. F this. Uh, I'm done. I'm just going to go ahead and delete it. Uh, you know, I shouldn't have done it to begin with. I just wasted uh, gameplay. No, guys, stick to it. All right, grind it as much as you can, even if you're on a time budget, okay? I'm going to show you something that, that, that I picked up. And I did, I did not get this, guys, until about day five. When all this finally panned out and I figured out, hey man, this thing has an auto button that I can work on. Let me show you what I'm talking about, boys. All right, we are in the Ray Shadow Legend and they have their little Christmas theme going on. We got little ice skaters down in the forge. Look at them just playing around over there. Oh, what the hell happened? Oh. All right, so first things first. You're going to want to be going through battles, okay? Now, uh, you're going to get these particular little... Let me show you right quick. Go to the portal. Okay, you're going to be getting these shards. Okay, and you're going to be getting a lot of green shards as you're going through the battles. And you go through your battles over here at the bottom right-hand corner. Okay, and you start your campaign. And you're going to want to spend, although I was playing all this stuff, uh, the faction wars, the dungeons, and all this stuff, uh, and the dungeons is where you're going to find mugs of beer. And those mugs of beer will help you upgrade really, really fast. But the campaign, guys, is where it's all at, okay? And you can just repeat these over and over and over again. So as you're going through your campaign and you're getting ready to start your first battle, okay, you're going to come down here and you're going to select your champions. Now, when you start off the game, it's going to give you one of four epic champions to choose from. Of course, I chose the guy that I see in the commercials all the time, and I've been leveling him up, okay? Uh, so he was the first one I started off with, and then I added a few more champions with the shards that I got. So you're going to come in here and you're going to add... Uh, your level ones, okay? Now, level one, you're going to put them in there, and you're going to go, and right at the, on the bottom right-hand side, it says multi-battle, and that gives you 30 minutes, okay? Uh, I did that later on in, in the match, after I found out what auto was about, and then I, the 30 minutes there, just it plays 30 minutes straight, so you don't have to come back and touch anything. But you come over here, you put start, Okay, and at the bottom right hand side, you're gonna see times one. That's gonna be regular speed. Okay, so you hit it, he's gonna go real. And this is what I was doing, guys. Game for game, I was just manually tapping, tapping each fight as I went. Okay, and it wasn't until very late in the day that I figured out 
hey, what is that little plus one over there? So I, I punched it. And that's where it, it increases twice as fast. Cool. I still wasn't paying close enough attention to what I was doing. Then when I found that little auto button, when I finally looked, okay, I didn't even hit the inform. Okay, that just tells me what's in there. Okay, you hit the auto, and it's going to do it for you automatically. And there's the, the first green shard. Okay, and that's for your common and uncommon uh, pieces. I think every now and then you might even get a rare, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, but we're going to come over here. We're going to hit next. And there's something. One problem you're going to uh, run into, guys, on the top. Uh, on, on the top bracket, you see where the silver is. Okay, you have your lightning, your gold, your silver. Okay, the silver is where you're going to run into a problem. You're going to run out of silver really, really quick. Uh, this I also found out later on, and I'll show you this as well. Let's go ahead and get in here. Go through a little quick match. And since this chapter is so leveled up, he's just going to run through everybody. And you can do this over and over and over again to help boost up or help level up your, your, your chapters. Now, there's the reward. I got 800 silver. Cool. And then I got the little helmet. You can tap on the helmet and you can actually sell it. And your silver will increase dramatically. I mean, it will fly up there, guys. Okay, so let's go ahead and get out of here. I gotta keep hitting the, the back because I can't hit the X because the, the pause button is actually right there. Okay, so let's get over to the champions part. Okay, and this is the place where I made a lot of mistakes. I also came over here and even though I already have one referral out, guys, uh, there you go. Uh, one guy came in and, and he did the, the referral link. Uh, so I'm waiting to get that epic shard. To, uh, when he levels up to 50, I'll get that epic shard and I'll be able to get another badass champion, okay? Will I remain in this game? I might keep it around, all right? Uh, depends. As not, I don't think it's something I'm gonna bring to the channel unless there is a lot of requests for it, okay? But everything's gonna be lighting up red, guys. You're gonna have the index. That's gonna light up. It's gonna, that tells you wh where the factions are, all kinds of junk like that. Okay, let's get out of there. On the bottom one, you're going to have quests in there. You'll be able to come over here and claim uh, potions and prizes and silver and all kinds of good stuff. So as things light up red, you need to go over there and check them out to see what's going on in them, okay? Uh, events over here on the left-hand side, or right-hand side. Okay, these are the events that are going on. And you can, you can participate in these, although I wouldn't recommend it, but you can if you want to. You want to grind this thing out fast. At the end of the day, it's not about playing a new game for us, guys. It's about getting that 20,000 gold that we're going to bring home to War Robots, okay, and, and uh, use that gold for what we need. Now, like I said, if you decide to stay here and play this game as a, as a little side game, you can. It's entertaining, uh, but it's so repetitive that, that it got boring for me. And once I got bored, all right, that's when I started saying, screw it, I'm done, no more, okay? Now, let's get over here to the porthole. And you can see that I have one epic shard, and I'm going to open up the blue one first. I mean, I'm sorry, uh, ancient shard. We're gonna go ahead and open this one. It's gonna cost me 20,000 silver. There we go, we got a level three champion, which is a good thing, okay? Because we're gonna need that level three champion later on. And let's come over here, open up these. We're gonna open up five, at, we're gonna do one at a time for the first five, and then we'll open up all of them. And you gotta pack in the champions with this thing, guys. Okay, one at a time. They're just going to keep coming in. Level ones or level twos. Uh, I'm not sure if we get a level three. I don't recall if we ever got a level three of this, but ones and twos definitely popped up. At the very top of, of the champion, you'll see the little star on top of his head. And of course, what we want to be getting here are the level twos so we don't have to rank these guys up. Okay, let's get back. And we're going to summon 10 of them at a time. Let's see if we pick up any level twos. Level one, level one. There's a level two. There's a level two. More level ones. Oh, we okay. There we go, guys. Yes, we did pick up a level three. Let's go and take a look at that level three champion. There it is. A hound spawn. Awesome. All right, so we got a level three. Now, how do we up rank? And this is where it gets a little. Let's go and get our last champion in there, just in case. A ugly ass hellhound. All right. Now, what we're going to come over to now uh, is another spot where you can start leveling up stuff while you're not playing the game. You come over here to the uh, 
to the sparring pit. Okay, bottom right hand side, go to the sparring pit. You select the champion. Okay, and you put him in that pit. Confirm. And in 30 minutes, he's going to increase one rank. This is the slow way to go about it, okay? But you can do that while you're away from the game. Once you get your, your, your boys leveled up a little bit, once you get your, uh, your champions leveled up a little bit more. But let's get over here to champions. And this is what we're going to be start calling food, guys, okay? Now, this is where all the mistakes are made, okay? You can tap on any one champion, okay? Take him to the tavern. And you can actually select other champions to improve the rank. Now, I can even tap on my level 3 champion up there and see where the rank goes all the way to level 5. I was doing that, guys. I was I didn't know any better. Uh, I was sacrificing level three champions to gain uh, progress on, on a lower level champion. Don't do that. These are the beers down here, guys. You tap on a beer, watch the level. Level seven, two beers. Bam, maxed out, okay? But save these beers for your higher level champions. You, I would like to use that... Uh, Go to edit. Nope. Okay, let's get him out of there so we can just move somebody else in. And get your higher ranking champion in there. It's going to go all the way back to the beginning. Okay, so we tap out this champion, our big boy up here. Take him to the tavern. All right. And now you let this big boy drink all the beer he can drink. All right? That's where it's for. For me, where I'm at, that's where I would be putting all, all of my my, 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 uh, my my needs. Okay? So let's go ahead and get back out of here. We're not going to be using it right now. But let's get back into the champions where we're going to be feeding them. Okay? So you got to max out a champion going through uh, the battles over and over again. Once you get a champion to level... Max level, like this one I have right here. She's already max level. I can upgrade her to level two. Take her to the tavern, okay? On the, on the right-hand side where it says upgrade rank. Now, I need one level champion to upgrade her to level two. So you want to pick the lowest level champion you have. As you can see, I have a bunch of uh, one-star level one champions. So I'm going to tap on one of them. Let's give her the, how, the hellhound, Okay. Upgrade the rank. Boom. All right, she's now level two. And we got to come out of it every single time that we do this, guys. So what we're going to do now, we're going to get our other number, uh, level one champion that's maxed out. Nope. Right there, take him back to the tavern, upgrade his rank, pick a low level champion, and make him a level two. Now we have a level two champion at level rank, a two star champion at level one. Okay, try to keep up with this, guys. You can always go back and watch this video if you get lost a little bit. So we're gonna come over here and we're gonna take a maxed out level two 20 champion. As you can see there on the left-hand side, I have two of them, right? And I just spent most of the morning doing this for you guys so we could get this, uh, show you how we're doing. Take him to the tavern, upgrade his rank. Okay, now I need two level one champions. One, two. Okay, I can sacrifice them, and I'm going to. Upgrade. And he is now level three. And do I have another level two? I have one level two that's maxed out. Yes, I do. Take her to the tavern. Okay, we're going to tap on that, edit it, get somebody else in there, get that level one out. Or the level two out, there you go. And we'll just put anybody in there random. Okay, and you're going to have to do that if you have them in this classic arena setup. And once again, all the way out, 
Come back to the champions. Get that level two one more time. Take her to the tavern. Upgrade her rank. Tap on the two. Upgrade. Now we have our level three champions. Okay. Now, let me explain this to you real quick, guys. It takes one level one champion to upgrade a level one max. All right. A level two max takes two... Two of the two star uh, champions and use the lowest ranking ones you got. Always keep a few uh, level ones that, that, that you're not gonna, don't waste the time upgrading them. I was making that mistake. I was upgrading everything or playing everything, upgrading ranks, wasted a lot of time on uh, champions that, that I shouldn't have, okay? So it'll take you two, two, two star champions to make up the level three. It will take you three. Three star champions, all right, once you max it out to get that one to rank four. It'll take you four, four star champions, level one, to max out one level four maxed out champion. So once I get this guy right here and I would get him all the way up to maxed out level, okay, I would hold him there and get three more, three star level one champions to upgrade him to level four, okay? And you're going to do this over and over and over again. Once you get your first champion maxed out, he's going to run the course for you over and over and over again, okay? So it doesn't matter who you put him in with there with. You can stay in the lower levels and just keep upgrading these ranks, okay? Now, if you have some of these down here that you do want to sacrifice, because you want to be holding a lot of level ones, we come back. And you can either waste your beer, which I don't recommend you do. What the hell? Come on, Ed. You can waste your beer or, or, or your potions or stuff like that to get them leveled up. Or you can just sacrifice a few more of the level one champions. Because you're going to be getting a lot of those green shards, guys. I mean, a lot of them are going to be coming in, which are your common shards. No, I don't want to know anything about Doom Tower play. Because we're not playing this game right now. We're playing it for a grind. All right? We're grinding this out. So once again, we'll take... Uh... Actually, I got... Two more champions that are level one maxed out. So I can actually get those guys up to two as well. Or three of them, actually. Well, I'm just swimming in these champions. Okay, Tavern. Honorable Grey Ray. Select one. Upgrade. There he goes. And you'll be doing this over and over and over again. That's why some people were able to complete these guys in three days. And then you got some people like me that took a total of six days to get this done. I didn't know what I was doing. As I figured it out, as I was going through it, and I learned, all right? And then I, I look back, I was like, damn, if I would have known this from the beginning, I could have I could have done this really quick. That's what I'm doing for you guys today. I'm trying to show you how to go about this to where you can maximize your, your potential, okay? Uh, and get through it as quick as possible. And then if you decide you want to stay in the game, by all means, guys, do it. Now let's come over here. Let's take like one more champion. Go back to the tavern one more time. And we're going to go ahead and select some food. Food are these guys down here, our low-level bad boys. And you can see where the level is going to start going up. When you get a lot of these excess champions, you can do this all day long. Upgrade. Initially, they go all the way up to a level 7. It's faster and easier, guys, uh, to do it by, by plane. But if you come in here and you have a plethora... I passed that a big word, school word. Uh, you have a plethora of champions. You can start using those guys to upgrade your rank, okay? That's where, that's what I would do, or that's what I was doing. And then I noticed, shit, I'm out of champions. I got to go play and look for more green shards. I'll hopefully get to a blue shard. Now, once you move up in the, in the, once you move up in the battles, guys, and you get over here towards uh, the back end of it, you can start possibly picking up some, uh, some some of the blue shards, and those will help you out a little bit more. That's over here at Fenrir's Gate, level 20. Okay, we'll do one here real quick. I'm not sure if I'm going to get rocked. I'll probably get rocked by these bad boys. Let's go ahead and put in the, the best champions we got. And see how that goes. I got my big boy who's going to go in there and just jack everybody up right off the bat. And let's see if we can get at least past at least one with level. They're just rocking people. Look at that. Bam. Sucker.
Oh, my chapter's already rocked. Uh, he, he ain't gonna make it. The big ass dog, they got big bites. He ain't gonna make it. Nope, he down, down and out. Okay, so we picked up silver, but we didn't pick up anything else, okay? But you can see where, where, where the levels, and just that one match, that, that uh, the low low level champions, all right, the three star level one moved up right away to a level two. So as you go through the progress, guys, of this, and you gain progress, whether it's at uh, the castle or uh, sewers of Arcon, Ar Arnok, or whatever it is, as you go, be using the higher level of uh, a place so you can get more rank points and do it just a little bit faster. This is all the stuff that I went through, guys. And I did a learn as you go type of deal. All right. Uh, it was not good. Forge is still locked. I could. And the market, I think I got enough to unlock the market. This is where you can come in. Okay. I, I can pick up a, a mystery shard. I mean, that, that shard right there. You can pick up equipment. Sometimes you get epic equipment in here. A lot of common, a lot of rare. So you can come over to the market and buy that stuff. But remember, guys, as you're playing, okay, you're going to get to a point where over here. And I, I didn't know I could sell those swords and stuff like that. So look at all the junk I have in here. It's the same stuff repeatedly over and over again because I kept grinding and grinding and grinding and grinding over here. Let me see if I put remove. No, let me tap this one. Okay, I can equip it. Or I could upgrade it. I don't want to do either, all right? Uh, I, oh, yeah, you know what? Here, sell. Okay, so you can come in here and you can sell all of this junk you have here. Let's get rid of those two. And just put all of these bad boys in here. And I didn't know that. I did not know this either, guys, till right this very second. Get all the level one stuff out. Yeah, you know what? And the level two. If it's not level three or more, we don't want it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. All right, I just learned a whole bunch of stuff. And now there's stuff you can do as well if you don't sell it there. So then you just tap sell and you get your silver. And you're going to need the silver, boys. You are going to need the silver. So keep that in mind uh, as you're going through it. But you can come in here, tap on your champion. All right. And equip them with, with these different... Uh, these different shields, helmets, uh, damage, whatever it is, it just gives you s s some extra damage, some extra stuff to go by. So, and there you go, guys. There's something else I just learned about the game because it has been a learn as you go progress, right? In about uh, five more minutes, I'll be picking up the silver. 20 minutes, I get the shard, and you go through all this stuff. When you do win stuff, top right hand corner, it comes up to this chest. Okay, and you can collect here. I cannot collect these because I've already maxed out on both of those. But those are the step-by-steps on how to get your champion up. Do not feed high-level champions to low-level champions, okay? Once you get your amount of champions you're going to need to progress to the next level, okay, uh, make sure that you have the same champion, level three, keep him at level one because he's going to be the food to get that next champion that you have maxed out to level four, okay? So you're gonna need one for one, two for two, three for three, and four to get him to number five. Once you get your bad boy to number five, right? And he hits level five, you're gonna go back to War Robots. Okay, we're gonna tap on our gold, the little plus sign. We're not gonna buy any gold. We're gonna come over to the mining fields. And this will pop up. It'll take a little bit of time, guys. May take a few minutes and it's gonna come in. It's gonna say completed at the very bottom. You see the 20,737 gold. Okay. I went ahead and did the lucky day that gave me 24 gold. All I had to do was open the app and I and, and scratch 10 tickets and I got the gold. Went then after that, went ahead and deleted the app. Okay, because I'm not gonna sit there. I've tried that one before on a different device, and I got all the way to like nine dollars and fifty cents, and you had to cash out at ten dollars, and I never hit the ten dollars, guys. It just it kept giving me junk after junk after junk after junk after junk. So I just got rid of that. Uh, that one is not worth it, in my opinion. Uh, but these other guys, look at these chunks of gold. 6,000, uh, 3,000, all right? Even the, uh, 
played uh, at least 35 minutes on that one. Uh, I'll probably try that out and see if I, if I like it or not. I'll just delete the sucker. No big deal. But I will keep coming over here to check out what's new and, and what I can do to uh, earn as much gold in the game that I play. All right. The game that I like to play. Get this free gold in gold mining. I'm going to do it, boys. All right. Uh, you got two ways to get the gold here. Right. You can get it through play. All right. Grinding a little bit. Or you can drop some money. So it's going to cost you time or it's going to cost you money. All right. For the six days that I put in to get what? 99 dollars for 14,000 gold look at about 150 dollars worth of gold if you would buy a standard out of there of course you get it better over here uh you get better deals uh but we're not talking about getting better deals we're talking about keeping our money in our pocket all right and finding another way for pixel to get to get paid by somebody else out there wanting to promote their game uh all we got to go, go there participate a little bit waste a little bit of our time and get the gold all right i'd rather do that and keep my real dollars in my pocket and let somebody else pay Pixonic for me to give me that gold. Guys, if this was informative for you, hit me up with a like. Hit me up with a subscribe. I will be going through each and every one of these events for you guys, all right? As I've been doing them, I'm going to come in here and say, all right, we're going to be going gold mining video today. This is what I did. This is how I got it. These are the mistakes I made. And this is how you can avoid making the same mistakes, all right? I'm going to guinea pig all of this for you guys uh, to make it as easy as possible to help you all out because you guys take the time to come over here Watch my video slap that like leave a comment have conversations with me You guys are my boys and my girls and I love y'all very very much So on that note, I will guinea pig all of these for you to tell you where to go and where not to go What's gonna be better for us and what the hell we need to avoid and all you all you got to do guys is Hit that subscribe hit that bell for notifications. So you don't miss any of the stuff. We got coming up. All right and of course, knock the hell out of the like to help me out in the algorithm. So if you haven't done that by now, guys, do me a favor. Hook, hook a brother up for real quick, all right? Let's go ahead and get one match before we get the hell out of here. Uh, skirmish. What the hell is this skirmish? Oh, wait a minute. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They told me about this. It's a one shot, one kill, I believe. We're going to try a skirmish out. Yeah. Okay, I got it. I got it. So we're going to go ahead and do the stalker. So we got 800 meters and we want to cloak and when we cloak it we got somebody on target like him look at that one shot over there boom <laughs> got you sucker okay so we got to wait seconds before we fire the next shot if you fire the the, the shot here all right you're going to do some damage but you're not going to get the kill so you need to get the okay we'll wait on him I need my cloak back. Oh, I'm not going to get him. Oh, man. No. Not cool, homie. Boom. Sit your punk ass down. <laughs> oh, shit. Oh, no. No, no, no. Oh. Dude, we're going to go. Okay, you know what? I, I got my, my ability back. Okay, we're cloaking here. We're going to get this guy. Oh, his shield. All right, I'm dead. I'm so dead. So you can see the little bit of damage you do there? All right. We made it. Boom. Oh, I'm just rocking these bad boys now. Oh. Somebody. I saw myself. My, my bot turned red. Oh, that's the Ravana. We have to be careful with him. Oh, 
Oh, he cloaked. <laughs> oh, no, I just missed my, my death mark. Okay, let's try, let's try not to do that. Okay, somebody got him. See if we can creep this. Boom. Dude, where's my gate sound? There it is. It's like very, very low. Oh, we just rocked these guys, man. Oh, he's just gonna run around all day. There you go. Well, you gotta tap him out. Am I hitting him? Bro, you're not gonna do that for six minutes, are you? There it is. There it is. He thought he was gonna rock me. God, I didn't get to try any bot, bro. I, was, I got stuck in this. In my little bad boy here. Oh, no. <laughs> Thumbs up, homie. Thumbs up. Good kill. Ah, they got him. Is that it? I think that's going to be it right there. That's 16 kills. Now we got one more. Got a couple more. Mark that shield down for you. Oh! You're a beast. Let's see if we can get him. Oh, no, we can't get the death mark yet. All right, good job, brother. He might have one more. Yep. That, he got rocked. Jeez, how many, where was this guy? What was he doing? There he is. Here he fired off a shot. Oh, I missed! Yeah! Somebody else death marked him. All right. Good job, fellas. Uh, that's just going to be the little game for the day, guys. We're not going to do anything particular. I think we've carried this video on long enough going over the raid uh, Shadow Legends and what you can do, all right? All right, give me my 190 silver. Look at that. Get out of here. So, in the comment section, y'all give me your thoughts, your feedback. Let me know how I did on my explanation. If there's anything you think I missed or anything you know that I missed that you maybe you're a little bit more experienced in this game, you can come back, all right, and give me that feedback and I'll, and I'll try to get it out on the next video. We will be going over more of these. I've been talking with a lot of you guys. Y'all been giving me some information. We're going to be trying some different things out. And we can go through this together, guys. And as I get it, pick it, you'll get the easy route to it. Guys, if you're new to the channel, hit that sub button. Also, hit that bell for notifications so you don't miss any of the stuff we got coming up. And if you did like this video, guys, knock the hell out of the like. I really do appreciate it, and it does help me out. And until we talk again, boys and girls, this is Oliver signing out.